Hello YouTube and welcome to another video. This is unboxing number 33 on Atlanta to Dallas Aviation. And as you can see, I have my new uh, turntable here and I did do a, I have done one video uh, with it prior, It, uh, but I was in a different position. And, uh, but I have a setup now where I can put it uh, here where I usually make my video so that is good and um, so I guess without any further ado we will uh, go ahead and get started um, so my I almost put out a video last weekend but I just didn't get around to it and uh, it just didn't really honestly feel like doing it so um, uh, last if I had done it last week I only had two models to show but since I didn't do it last weekend I actually have three models to show and uh, two of them uh, which will be the first two that I show you uh, two of them are from the uh, uh, NG models CRP um, um, loyalty rewards program I guess you could call it um, so uh, I got two of those and uh, I want to thank uh, DG Pilot for taking care of of those for me uh, as I understand it's it's extremely I won't say difficult but it's extremely um, in unintuitive um, how the retailers uh, deal with it and it's I if for any of those of you who have participated in this program and gotten uh, models uh, through the CRP uh, you know it's not extremely intuitive for uh, the end user uh, or the customer either um, and I actually do have another uh, reward free model that I still have not received. Now I did not have DG Pilot um, take care of that one. Um, so I think I think it's gonna really just be a loss of points. Um, Supposedly, the retailer that was uh, was supposed to handle it, uh, it says the model was shipped to them, but they don't seem to. I don't know. They just they have not sent it to me. So, um, but since it's a free model, I I'm not overly concerned. Um, and, and like I said, as I understand it, it is ex uh, rather difficult and unintuitive how the retailer is supposed to deal with it. So he may just, it may have just gotten lost in the shuffle. But anyway, so uh, I did receive these two and thank you DG Pilot again. Uh, he, he, has, he actually has a uh, brick and mortar store as I understand it, uh, and an online present presence, um, and he is based in Minneapolis, I think. Um, so check out DG Pilot and I'll look him up on Google or whatever. Uh, and uh, uh, he's very helpful, and I believe his name is Donnie. Uh, so anyway, so let's get to it. Uh, first model. Right here. So my first model is um, this Boeing 777 freighter uh, for China Airlines cargo. And uh, as you can maybe see here, our registration here is Bravo-18775. And uh, as usual, there is the item number for NG models is 72010. So here is box art basically. 
I'm not really here for the box art, but some people like to see uh, what this looks like, so I will indulge you. There we go. All right, but I no longer need the box to do our 360 because I have this nice handy dandy turntable. But I'm going to bring the plane in first, try to get it centered. And I have variable speed here. I'm going to try to get it going here and get it on a slow speed so we have a nice, oops, well, why isn't it turning on? Okay. So as you see, I'm trying to slow it down here. It is not slowing down, which is annoying me. It'll take me a little while to get used to doing this because this is a new feature for me, so. Yeah, it looks like it's going really fast on the camera, so I'm trying to get it nice and slowed down but he is not slowing down very quickly I literally want him to barely turn and I had it going pretty slow earlier I do not know why it's going so fast. Okay. Just bear with me here. Because I swear I had this thing going pretty darn slow but I didn't want it to be spinning when I tried to put the model on it. And since I'm not a very high-tech thing and I've got to do this on the spot, I'm kind of a little bit wasting your time here trying to get this adjusted. Oh yeah, okay. Well, that's gonna have to do, I guess. Um, yeah, wow, that's really turning fast. All right, well, I'll also have it stop and we'll do a close up. But anyway, so while that's spinning and you're taking a look at that, a little additional information uh, on this model um, in the real aircraft that it represents. Um, this aircraft was delivered uh, in, on March 30th of 2022. It is approximately two years old based on first flight. So first flight, usually there's test flights uh, before they get delivered. So uh, based on first flight, uh, it's approximately two years old already and it is currently active. Uh, it is powered by two GE90-115Bs. So our lovely little engines there as they quickly go spinning by. All right, so. All right, so we got it stopped here, I think. I'm going to spin this back around to, the, to this side because this is where all the interesting stuff is or at least the more interesting stuff. It's also nice that I got a... Oh. All right, are you not liking... I 
think it's not liking. But there's a reflective. Come on there. Ah, uh, thank you. All right. So hopefully it'll stay focused and not focused in on the back there. All right, so the L1 door there, uh, just behind the nose gear. And then uh, they just have, uh, so they also have the uh, uh, registration number here, right past L1 door. Uh, and then it just says cargo. And we have, uh, I can't see all these markings down here. But then we move back a little bit. Here's our uh, GE90 engine on that's on the port side. And you can see our th three bogies uh, on the main gear here. Wing root. Back to the main the main cargo door. Back here we got China Airlines titles, and I believe this says uh, Boeing 777F, and here's the registration again. And then we head right on up the tail, um, and I can't remember what kind of flower this is. I want to say it's a poppy, but I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, so there is the logo on the tail all right so first plane done my second free plane this is Japan Airlines a th oops actually so I put it out there but I was going to show you the box first sorry about that uh, so box booyah there we go the Airbus A350-900 uh, for Japan Airlines with the registration Juliet Alpha 10 X-ray Juliet and the NG item number there is 390032 and fortunately for a little while there I actually thought this was the uh, A350 that had the accident in uh, was it Narita or Haneda ah, I can't remember which airport it was but it hit the uh, dash uh, the de Havilland dash 8 um, that was being flown by uh, the Coast Guard and uh, killing uh, five people on that airplane but fortunately everybody on the Japan Airlines A350 made it out before the uh, the whole thing just burnt to a crisp so that was good and I'm I'm <laughs> I'm glad my model is not a uh, uh, the registration of the one that got destroyed um, but anyway so here's sort of the look at the box art here and then uh, that side is basically the same as the front all right now we can get now we can bring this thing in here And I'm sure it's going to be going just as fast as the other one was, unfortunately. But we'll see. We'll see what we can manage here. Alright, let's start him up. Well... That is very fast. Yeah, it got a little bit slower, but not much.
I'm going to have to read my instructions for this thing again because I don't remember uh, what some of the buttons down here are. But this is supposed to be the, the turn rate. Alright, well I guess that's probably about as slow as I'm going to get it. So, sorry if it's going like really fast. Um, anyway, so a little more information on the actual aircraft that this model represents. Uh, it was delivered to Japan Airlines on uh, the 19th of, of August, 19th of August of 2021. It is approximately 2.5 years old based on first flight and it is currently active. Um, their A350s are powered by two Rolls-Royce Trent uh, extra wide body engines. Uh, and since this is a passenger plane, uh, the seating configuration is 12 business class. 94 premium economy and 263 regular economy. All right. All right, let's get Let's do our little close up now. Hopefully we will stay focused on the airplane, not what's in the back. Focused on the airplane, please. Wow. Alright, why are you being... I'm not that close in. There we go. All right, so hopefully that stays. It's not very focused, though, is it? Come out a little bit more. All right, I think that looks that looks better. All right, so we got our classic A350 nose. Um, now that I'm looking at it a little bit closer. The cockpit windows look a little strange to me. It kind of looks like they might be a little bit too small and it looks like they're a little bit too... Now, of course, I'm seeing it at angles that you're not really seeing it. Let me see if I can... Oh, I can't turn it. All right, let's turn it this way. All right. There's kind of the angle I was kind of looking at it. It looks like these cockpit windows are a little bit too small and potentially even a little bit too low. Um, let me know in the comments if you if you agree it, that it looks a little funky, at least on on the unit that I have. But anyway. Alright, L1 door, L2 door, the the kind of boring Euro white um, livery here, uh, Japan Airlines titles uh, in pretty bold font here, it, along with the Japan uh, flag there. And here's our Here's our port side Rolls Royce engine, and you can see our double bogey main gear there. And that's L2 door, if I didn't already point it out. Uh, L3 door there. Our, uh, our reddish uh, wingtips here. Looking very nice. And then uh, our UNICEF. Um, I, I think these are also on ANA's airplane. So they're big on UNICEF in Japan, I guess. 
uh, and then uh, L4 door, um, uh, Airbus A350 900 written right down here, and then the registration again, and then we get the logo um, JAL crane there on the tail fin. All right, so that is my other free model uh, via the NG Models uh, CRP program. And then finally, our last model, which I'm going to have to speed this up a little bit, I guess, is this Airbus A321 Neo. Uh, this one was delayed, so you actually, you've actually seen an unboxing video that has um, its release mates with it. Um, the, uh, my retailer sent three ahead uh, and then just sent this one to me separate. Uh, so this actually completes one of the other unboxings uh, that you saw earlier. Uh, and this, so this is United Airlines and it's their first uh, A321neo. And that airplane's registration there is November 44501. And NG model's item number is 13102. And here is the box art. Do, 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 do. Kind of nifty. Here we go. Box art. See ya. All right. Time to bring in this beautiful model. All right. Yeah, a little tighter on this one. All right, let's start her up. And of course, I'm going to try to see if it'll slow down any, but I don't think it's going to. It's supposed to only have three speed settings, but I swear it was going way slower than this a little while ago before I started my video. Oh well. C'est la vie. Alright, so more about this aircraft. Uh, it was delivered to United just recently, the 16th of October of 2023. Uh, and based on its first flight, oh now there's the speed I wanted it to go. Alright, very good. I'm sorry, so based on first flight, uh, this aircraft is approximately uh, 0.3 years old uh, and it is of course currently active it is powered by two Pratt & Whitney 1133 uh, geared turbofans uh, and uh, it also uh, so it has a seating configuration of 20 business class 57 premium economy and 123 regular economy so this is the speed I was trying to get it to be. And I still have no idea how I got it on this speed. So eh, at least we got it on, on this airplane. All right. I'm doing pretty good on time. So I'm going to let this slowly make its way around here. And then we'll... Do our close up here. Yeah. All right. Let's 
Let's see, it's probably going to give me a hard time again. Uh, that's pretty up close, but I'd like it to be better. I think it freaks out because of the mirror. Okay. Can we focus? No, we don't want to focus. Ah, that looks focused. Uh, no, it doesn't. Alright, let's see if that focus is better. That looks better to me. Alright, very good. Alright, so we have our, our very well done uh, nose and our appropriately angled nose gear. I'm not sure if you can really see it uh, in the video, but this uh, the nose gears for these airplanes uh, for the A320 family in general at, at least looks like it's slightly bent outward. So they did a very nice job here. Uh, we have our Star Alliance logo right here next to the cockpit windows. Uh, and before the L1 door, which is here, we have our United Big Bold titles here between the L1 door and the uh, two emergency exit doors over the wing. Here is our port side uh, gear turbofan. And probably out of focus, but um, the blue uh, wing tips on both sides. See, we got a nice one over here too. And we go back, and uh, not that this is the correct uh, aircraft type, but if you can see, I can see it because I'm live, but here's a door plug. Hopefully, put on correctly, unlike the uh, Max 9 door plug that blew out, but that's what's right here, I believe, because it doesn't look, it, this actually barely even looks like a door. Um, so this hat is likely a door plug right here. Then we move back. We have our registration with the American flag in the uh, L2 door. It would be the L3 door if this was an actual door. But L2 door in this case and then we have our Evo Blue globe here on the tail looking really nice oh and uh, I didn't have any loose uh, parts or anything on this so that was nice so there you have it uh, unboxing number 33 with my two with my two uh, free models and uh, my delayed uh, model from an earlier uh, unboxing. So I hope you really enjoyed uh, enjoyed this video and if you did please consider leaving a like. Uh, if you have seen more than just this uh, and you're enjoying uh, my very low-tech videos uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, and as usual, please leave any comment, especially if you've got these models. Tell me how, what you think of, the, of these models. Um, so, but that will do it for this video. And until next time, happy collecting.